Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be doing a cash stuffing. If you are new here, my name is Ange. I do cash stuffing, budgeting, and savings videos. If that's the type of content that you like, I'd love it if you would hit that like button for my videos and subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell because there will be a lot of cash stuffing videos coming your way. So if you want to see what I have in store, then please stay tuned. First off, I do want to mention that I did pick up a second job, so there will be a lot of cash stuffing coming your way. Um, I will try to work in a Wednesday and Friday cash stuffing. So I am, so how my schedule works right now is I will be getting paid weekly for both of my jobs. So I'm going to separate them out into different cash stuffing vi videos. And then my husband also has his income, which I will cash stuff. And then all of the miscellaneous stuff that kind of goes in between all that, I'll have to fit, fit it into a weekly schedule. But you can expect to see a cash stuffing on Wednesdays and Friday, or Wednesdays and Saturdays, sorry. That's my schedule. So, um, now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's get started. So I did get my first paycheck from this second job and it did come out to a bit over 1300 and I will be cash stuffing all of it into my envelopes. Um, I will not be saving any of this one for my fixed expenses. That'll be from my other paychecks. But um, so this one, will, you will see where all of it goes. So let's count it together. We have 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 600, 50, 700, 50, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So no ones today. So we have 1,335 and we will start with my weekly spending binder. Um, we have nothing left from gas. We have $10 left from our groceries, so we'll just put it there because it does go into my savings challenges. And then I have nothing else left over except our buffer, which I think is pretty healthy right now. So gas will get its usual 100. Groceries gets 120. And so far, I think um, this weekly this amount has been working out pretty well. The kids did start school and we do have to start packing lunch for them. So um, it still worked out pretty well. We just um, have to think about um, school friendly uh, lunches for them. So we started off with sandwiches, but um, that didn't last very long. They just stopped wanting to eat it. <laughs> So 25 for both um, entertainment and personal. Okay. All right, that does it there. So if you guys have any recommendation, any moms or dads out there that pack a lunch for your kids, let me know. Leave me a comment down below and give me some suggestions. I'm spending about like 15 to 20 minutes a day um, figuring out what to pack for their lunch. So um, any ideas are welcome. All right, so let's start with our property tax. We will be putting in $200. So we have 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 600, 13,600. Insurance will be getting $30. And if you're wondering about this second job, I it is um, actually doing something that I already do. Um, I'm working in a di different time zone, so it kind of works out and it's not conflicting. But yeah, so it's um, 
uh, it's a part of um, the med device industry so all right insurance has 100 200 300 20 40 50 1 2 3 and 4 so 354 and with the extra income I will be able to fill up these envelopes a lot quicker um, I will not be doing the last three so that does it for this binder the next is our plan ahead so I think um, I guess we I have some goals in mind for what I will do with um, this extra income um, is probably filling up all of my sinking funds and doing a few more challenges to hit some goals that we have in mind for our family um, all right so car maintenance will get 25 and honestly I think I feel like this entire journey of um, budgeting and saving especially like being able to see where all your money is going and limiting the spending because we're encouraged to, I guess, fill up our envelopes a lot faster, has really gotten me to want to save more and make more. So that's one of the reasons why I had um, pursued a second job. All right, so for car maintenance, we have 500, 6, 700, 50, 70, 75, 80, 81, two, and three. So 783. Medical, we'll get ten dollars. So it now has five hundred, six hundred fifty, seventy, eighty, one, two, and three. Six hundred and eighty-three for medical emergency. We'll get twenty dollars. So we have one thousand one hundred twenty forty fifty fifty five fifty six fifty seven one thousand. 157 so birthdays will get 15 so we now have 100 200 300 10 20 25 30 31 2 and 3 333 for birthdays special occasion will get $20 so we have 120, 40, 60, 61, 2, 3, and 4. 164. Holidays, we'll get 15. So we have 100, 2, 3, 450, 70, 80, 95. 495. Back to school, we'll get $10. So back to school, we have 100, 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 197. And we did end up going shopping this past weekend to get some more clothes for my kids. So uh, we'll, I guess, cash stuff this one so we can take it out later. Um, gifts, we'll get $10. So we have 150, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 199. And month ahead, we're starting fresh with $40. And that does it for plan ahead. Next is our short term sinking funds. So for Amazon, we will be putting in $20. So we have $50, $70 for Amazon. Target will get $10. So we have 100, 20, 40, 50, 51, 2. 152. Costco will get 40. 20, 40, and it has 50, 70, 90, 110, 111, 112, 112. And Costco, I end up putting more in Costco all the time because I kind of buy a little bit of everything at Costco. So even though it should come from different categories, 
it really just comes from this Costco envelope because I don't want to calculate them out separately. Like we bought a Halloween costume for my daughter and normally that would probably come out a holidays envelope, but it's just coming straight out of the Costco one. All right, so home goods will get $15. So we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100 dollars for home goods. Family time, we'll get 20. So we have one, two, three hundred, fifty, seventy, ninety, one, two. Three hundred and ninety-two. Um her fund gets fifteen. We have 150, 70, oh, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 81, 2, and 3. 183 for her fund. Uh, his fund will get 15 as well. So he has 120, 30, sorry, so he has 110, 25, 125. The kids will get twenty dollars. One, two, three, four hundred, twenty, forty, sixty-five, sixty-six. Four hundred and sixty-six. Four hundred and sixty-six for kids fund. And then our travel for airfare we will be putting in fifty dollars. So we have 1,500, 600, 50, 70, 80, 1, 2. So 1,682. Accommodation will also get $50. So we have 1,000, 2,000, 50, 100, 20, 30. 2,130. And we are getting close to completing our accommodations for our Disney cruise. So our goal is 3000 for that. Um, transportation will get 15. So we have 1, 2, 350, 60, 65, 70, 370. Food and eats will get 25. 25. So we have 550, 70, 90, 605. I don't know how much we're supposed to, or we should be saving for food, but all I know is if we're eating out a lot, it's going to get kind of expensive, especially in Europe. I don't really remember what the food prices were like in Europe, but I can't imagine them um, being that much less than what we're paying here. The good, the advantage is that the euro is at parity or even better, I think, or US dollar. I think I checked yesterday can buy you one dollar or one euro and one cent. All right, activities will get ten dollars. We have one, two, three, four hundred, twenty, forty, fifty five, four hundred and fifty five. Entertainment will also get ten. So we have 1, 2, 3, 400, 20, 40, 55 as well. Um, gratuities will get $10. So we have 100, 200, 50, 70, 80, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 288. Emergency will get $15. So it has 100, 2, 3, 450, 65. 465. And then our last one, we'll get $10 for miscellaneous. So we have 100, 2, 300, 20, 40, 55. 355. All right, so the rest, 
will be for Star Wars Savings Challenge. And I am planning to just do my car. So I will do one car. And then we have 150. Oh, actually, I will also do one of my tech. And if you didn't know, the new Apple, they had announced the release of the new Apple for, or iPhone 14. And I think a bunch of other stuff too. They have like a new Apple Watch. I haven't looked into detail, but I will not be purchasing one of that, one of those. I don't think, I think my phone is fine for now. I think I could probably wait another year. And then nothing for wardrobe. And I am going to bring back my 100 envelope challenge because we have this extra income. And right now I don't really have time to think about other challenges to be doing. So I'm just going to go back to what I had already done. It would be a goal to have this done before the end of the year. Um, I think I can complete it and so if you don't already know the 100 envelope challenge is basically 100 envelopes counted 1 to 100 and your goal is to put the, the number amount in dollars in each envelope. But what I will be doing is I think for the higher numbers I'm going to put $100 in the envelope and then we can count it at the end. I may just decide to put whole bills in so this doesn't get like super, super crazy stacked up, I guess. So like, um, uh, so all the 90s to 100, I will put $100 in. I may do it for like the 80s, 70s to 100. I'll put $100 in and then we'll see what I'll do for the other ones. Maybe the 60s, I'll put like $60. I don't know. I haven't really thought it through yet, but my goal is to save as much as we can. So I'm just using these envelopes as kind of placeholders for my cash. So we'll see how much, how far I can get at the end of the year. But my goal will be to um, finish as many as I can with a higher amount than the value that's actually um, on them. So we'll see we'll see how it goes and we'll see um what i end up doing for some of the middle numbers i know like the 50s i can probably just put a 50 dollar or i'm gonna limit the number of bills that i put in each one we'll just say that all right so i just did the one so 91 i put a hundred dollars in and this one kind of got messed up i guess and i didn't know whether it was an 18 or an 81 but i put it as 18 <laughs> so um we'll see what it is okay so that does it for my video i hope you enjoyed it again if you like this type of content i'd love it if you would hit that like button subscribe down below and hit that notification bell because there's going to be a lot of cash stuffing coming your way all right have a good week guys bye everyone